Alrighty guys, so what is up? Welcome back to Faith and Farming. This here is Colton. Uh, sorry if I sound a little uh, stuffy right now. There's a cold and fever going around our house right now and I have it. So, um, well, I thought I'd just get you guys up to date. Uh, I told you I was going to be cutting hay today. Well, I was planning on cutting hay today. But the swathers broke down. Usually the swather breaks down while we've got it out in the field and we're using it. Well, it didn't move at all today. Um, there's a shortage of fuel running from the tank uh, to the engine. So it won't keep running. It starts fine and then turns right around and dies. So we've gone through it. We've gone from here all the way back to the tank on the other side. We've replaced the fuel filter. We've done everything we can do. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys. Yeah, we've checked the uh, sediment jar. The tank is right here. So it comes out of the tank. It runs up. It runs straight up. It's open for you guys. And. Oh, there you go. I got locked and it runs to here this is the fuel pump and we know the fuel pumps working because we took this fuel filter out and I held the hose when he went to start it and it's uh, shot fuel all over so we know that the the fuel pump is good so we know it's up here in this carburetor uh, so we've called GM implement they're going to call my grandpa back here and when they get back from lunch around 1, so it's about 12.30, so hopefully in about half an hour they're going to call him back and uh, we're going to see what we can do to get this running because uh, I'd still like to cut hay today. I could still get it done, but, you know, I've got to get the machine running first, so hopefully it's nothing too hard to fix. I don't have to hopefully take the carburetor and take it all apart. These things are, these things are really tedious is why we don't do them ourselves because there's tons and tons of little parts inside those that's why i actually had the kit for the super c super c carburetor and uh, we sent it in gnm implement because uh they're just so tedious there's so many little parts that it would take us a long time to work on so That's what's going on with the hay cutting today. No, not much. But uh, I'm hoping it won't take but a few hours to get this back up and running. It took us about an hour and a half to go through that line and make sure everything was working there. So hopefully uh, GM can call us back. They got some advice on how to how to get it running again, or they can just come out and see if they can fix it. But anyhow, today uh, we're not going to be cutting hay unless they pull through really soon. Uh, but that's going to be kind of today's episode unless we get the carburetor fixed. And I'll probably put that in another uh, episode. So anyhow guys, this is the end of this episode. So thanks for watching you guys. And uh, hope to talk to you soon.